I would have some jags in the strip already okay. so that uh, and and I wouldn't cut the st uh, personally in my experience okay. I wouldn't cut the jags in the strip until you've got them placed on the tail okay mm -hmm. so that you could see what needs to happen okay is what I would do with that is what I would do with that. Um, and so just to talk a little bit further, um, Shahar, and you were saying about, uh, you know, how the art is so therapeutic for people. In, in our local market, we have a very successful artist mm -hmm. who was battling cancer of the throat. Uh, Peter Zorba, Steve Zorba is his name. And um, in his therapy for the cancer, mm -hmm. he turned to his art and he was always he was a good artist he was do, he was a sports artist at that point in time okay. but through through that pain mm -hmm. he developed this crazy uh, amazing pieces of art mm -hmm. and 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 for him it was a coping technique it was a coping technique yeah. of how to get through this and there is another if anybody wants to um, we have a EMT uh, emergency um, mm -hmm. person who who has suffered PTSD PTSD the, yeah, yeah. Um, because of all of the things that they have seen of course. and his name is Daniel Sun uh -huh. and his work is incredible he will take images and and he does so he'll have a picture of a uh, of a an, uh, emergency worker sitting on the back of an ambulance and an angel in the background. There goes your pants. There goes my pants. Okay. <laughs> oh well. Um, yeah. So, so that's go back. You, yeah. He works in the back of an ambulance. Uh, so he, you know. So he, so I, so he's got a photograph of someone in the back of an uh, an EMT worker in the back of an ambulance, and then he superimposed an angel on the back of it. So oh. and again too, it's been a survival technique for him. It's been a way for him to deal, to with, deal with that his yeah. PTSD, and he's he's actually been he speaks around the world as well too nice. uh, to help survive and stuff so uh, so yes art is absolutely critical and necessary, necessary yes. okay so <clears throat> I'm just trying to figure out my best spot to sit here why you play that yeah. is an amazing teacher so generous sharing her tips and techniques thank you thank Sandy you Sandy saying it is amazing how much we learn from each piece we make and yeah. Sydney King is a amazing Thank you, thank you. So now we've got our beak in place, and so what I'm going to do, when I, when I do this head part, like where I've got my hand right now, I'm not too concerned about having too much texture on there because that's getting covered up with our next technique that we're gonna do, you know, with the, with the technique we're gonna finish up on there. But what I like to do is I like to start just under the chin, and I like to keep this fairly smooth. You're going to notice I've got a bit of a curl there. And I'm using the camera to see the back side here instead of turning it that way for me. And that, now if there is some texture in here, I'm, I'm not 